a lot of rumors and official news have recently hit. Let's discuss it. <music> Greetings, Comic Universe. It is me, Brian. I am finally back. I thought with all this news coming out and all, it was about time for another nerdy newsies. Let's dive into it. Three categories today. Random little things. Then, of course, the thing that we talk about every single time now seems crisis. Then, the Matt Reeves Batman news, which if you know anything about news, you already know it, but anywho, let's get into the random bits of news. HBO Max. If it already didn't seem like it was enough to pull you in already, they announced recently that all of the Studio Ghibli library will be on HBO Max exclusively. Wow. That'll be cool. Then let's talk about The Boys, which if you guys haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend it. Season 1 is on Amazon Prime. It's really cool. I really liked it. It's darker than your typical superhero stuff. Like, it's darker than Arrow Season 1, but yet also funnier. You just have to watch it to see for yourself. It's really cool. And... For those that may not know, the lead character, Huey, his dad, is played by geek legend, Simon Pegg. Well, it was just recently announced that another geek legend is joining the show in a mysterious role, Patton Oswalt. I, for one, am really excited for this. I love Patton Oswalt, and I think his unique brand and humor will do well in this world. Alright, moving on. Crisis. Now, a rumor came out that Tom Ellis, aka Lucifer himself, would be appearing in Crisis on Infinite Earths. It's a crossover event. And Tom Ellis himself has come out to denounce those rumors, but given that this is the Crisis, I wouldn't be surprised if he was lying. You never know. We'll just have to wait and see. I'd be really excited if he did, but I'd also be kind of okay if he didn't because we've got so much stuff going on with that show. Speaking of, another rumor that has hit, which the only person, the origins of the rumor, is an insider who gives this information to YouTuber Pagey. So take it with a grain of salt, but the rumor is that Titans, the DCU Titans, will be making an appearance on Crisis. Now, it says that it's only a cameo to show their world during the Crisis, but it's still just a rumor as of right now, so take it as you will. Now, let's talk about one big official thing that was announced for Crisis. Stephen Lobo, an actor, no Canadian actor mainly, known for shows like uh, Little Mosque on the Prairie and Continuum. He's also done some American stuff, but it's small stuff. He was actually in five episodes of Smallville. He was in, I think, two episodes of Supernatural. He's scheduled to be in that upcoming Snowpiercer TV show, which, even though that seems to be very cursed, I am still tentatively excited for it. Anyway, it was announced that he is going to be in Crisis. As who, you may say? Detective Jim Corrigan. A.K.A. Spectre. So, that will be interesting to see. So now we have, we now have 
the second atom and the specter who will be coming in in crisis. I wonder who else. If you guys are interested, I might do a like list of wanted characters to be introduced in crisis. If you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments below. So, anywho, back to this though. I wonder if his involvement will have anything to do with Constantine, because Constantine's involved in the crossover. And I wonder if he's going to be like, hey, uh, didn't you used to be white or something? Because Constantine has worked with Jim Corrigan before in the one season show, which I guess this can, unless John makes a side comment like that, this confirms that the Earth that Constantine was on, the TV show, is a similar world, but not the same. But you know what that also means? Another character who was hinted at in in Constantine, which I won't say in case you guys do want me to do that list. But anyway, Crisis is coming to be crazy. And speaking about crazy though, let's talk about Matt Reeves' Batman. Now, there have been a lot of rumors coming out about who is going to be in it and who isn't. One day you'll hear Robin's going to be in it, and then the next year like, no, Robin's not going to be in it. And then it's like, a list of supposed people are going to be in it came out. And it included two confirmed people, but it also confirmed like the Mad Hatter and a couple other people. So you're like, are they really going to do that many people? So, you never really know. And... There were rumors saying that, uh, oh, this guy's supposed to be Alfred, no, this guy's supposed to be Alfred. But we actually have confirmed casting. Two bits of confirmed casting. Daughter of famed singer Lenny Kravitz and actress from The Cosby Show, Zoe Kravitz. The stepdaughter to Aquaman herself is going to be playing Catwoman. E, I am so happy for that. People forget about the original Adam West Batman and how they had a non-white Catwoman. And she was freaking awesome. She's probably my favorite live-action Catwoman to date, and I love Zoe Kravitz. I think she was kind of ripped off in the X-Men franchise. Her character was so blah and boring. Same can't be said for Catwoman, so let's see. I'm getting really excited for this. Also making me really excited, Riddler was confirmed, and none other than Paul Dano. Indie film darling who did gain some critical acclaim when he was one of the lead white people in 12 Years a Slave. And he is a lanky dude who's known for playing smart characters and is a really good actor, so I think he can really pull it off. I am can't believe I am saying this, but I am really excited for the Robert Pattinson Batman movie. Can't wait to see that happen and then maybe even have that start its own separate universe of movies. That would be really cool, but I've been going on long enough. Thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think about these new stories? Let us know in the comments down below. Are you excited for any of this? Are you disappointed in any of this? Let us know in the comments down below. That's it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you again in the universe. Till next time and beyond.